What is up you guys, my name is Selena and today's going to be a new tutorial showing you guys how to recreate some of Rice Gum's edits in his diss tracks. So yeah, let's get started with the video in Premiere Pro. And by the way you guys, I'm going to start uploading 5 videos a week now, I'm back in California on that hustle grind, so yeah. So the first effect I'm going to be showing you guys is this whip effect. And this is what it looks like. Okay, so you guys are going to need to download the six screens preset and I'll link it in the description. It's totally free. So yeah, once you've imported it into Premiere Pro, you can go to effects and then search up six screens and put that on the clip that you want the whip effect to be on. And then we're going to put the scale back to 300 so it's back to the normal clip. And then we're going to adjust the position in the beginning. So I'm just going to make the whip come from the left. So I'm going to move the position to the left. And then press the keyframe button and then go like four frames forward and then we're going to press the reset button so it makes another keyframe. So now it'll just whip from the left. And then we're going to go to effects and search up directional blur so we have a blur on it. And then we're going to put that on our clip. And then we're going to change the blur length to a number that you like. So I'm just keeping it at 20 and then changing the direction to 90. And then we're going to keyframe the blur length in the beginning of the clip. And then just match your bar to where the position of the other keyframe ends. And then we're going to press the reset button for the blur length. So now if we watch it back, it quickly whips from the left. And you can definitely make the effect go slower or faster if you want by adjusting the keyframes and making them wider or closer together. Okay, so if you're making a bunch of diss tracks or like you want to have this as a preset so you don't have to do this process every time, you can select the motion and the replicate and all the mirrors from the six screens effect and then the directional blur and then right click and press save preset and you can just name it whatever you want. I guess I'll just name it whip blur effect and then press OK. So now if you search it up in effects, you can use it on other videos too. So yeah. The next effect I'm going to be showing you guys is this RGB lens distortion zoom effect. So for this effect, the first thing we're going to do is search up lens distortion. And then we're going to put that onto our clip. And then we can go to the end of the clip where we want that effect to start. So I'm just going a little bit before the end of the clip and then pressing the keyframe button for curvature. And then going to the end and then we're just going to bring that to the negative side so that it warps in. So I just kept it at about negative 59. And then now what you're going to do is you're going to search up RGB to get the RGB look on it. And then we're going to put that onto our clip. And then change the blending mode to screen. And then you can hold alt on the clip and then bring it up twice so that you have three copies of it. And then we can go to our top clip and then go down, go to the RGB and then change green to zero and blue to zero. And then go to the second clip, change red to zero, blue to zero, and then the third clip, red to zero and green to zero. Okay, so now it's back to the normal clip with the lens distortion, but we want to make the RGB effect come up when it starts to warp and zoom. So what we can do is go to our top clip and then we're just going to adjust the keyframes so that they offset and then they like start at different times so then you can start to see the RGB split. So I just moved it a little bit backwards and then you can go to your second clip if you don't want that red and blue look. You can bring in different colors so we can offset the curvature keyframes for this one too. So I'm just bringing it so that it has a sort of green and pink effect too. So now if you zoom in you can see a bunch of different colors forming it and that's just the RGB warp zoom effect so yeah okay so rice gum uses a lot of scaling in and out and yeah so it just like adds a lot of oomph to your <laughs> clip i guess so it's just not like standing still of you singing basically it's so simple you just go wherever you want to scale in and press the keyframe button and then you can press the right arrow key like four times and then scale into about 145 and then go four times right again and then press the reset button back to 100. So now if you watch it back, it just scales in and you can bring the keyframes closer together so it's more smooth and goes faster. And then you can also right click on motion and then save it as a presets too. So, you so I'm just gonna name it the scale bounce effect. Okay, so for this next effect, we're just gonna f do a flicker transition. So what we're gonna do is go to our next clip and then we're going to have to keep this equal distance, so from the crack to where the two clips meet, I'm going to press the right arrow key twice, and then press C for cut, and then press the right arrow key twice again, C for cut, and then keep doing that 
till we have four cuts, but you can make it more if you want. And then we're just going to drag those cuts on top of the clip right before that. And then you want to make them even spaces. And then you just bring that clip forward to where our last cut was. And then now, if you watch it back, it just flickers. So yeah, that's the flickering effect. Now you can also do it with different exposures and working with Lumetri color could be cool. So yeah, I'm just going to do this in the middle of my clip. And then I'm just going to create cuts again with equal distance. And then pressing the right arrow key five times and then just cutting the clips. And then I'm doing that to make four cuts. And now we can go to effects and search up Lumetri color and put that on our first cut. And then go to the basic correction. And you can just adjust the exposure like bringing it up to 2.3 and then bringing down the shadows to like negative 45. And so you can use like so many different like coloring effects, but I'm just showing you an example. So yeah, and you can create more cuts if you want to. Okay, so now for this extracting transition, we're going to just bring the clip up to the second line and then bring the clip after that forward so that they overlap so that we can have the transition take place in the overlap. And then for our first clip, we're going to search up color key and effects and then put that on the clip. And then with this dropper, you can press any part of the clip that you want to disappear first. And it doesn't really matter, but yeah, I'm just putting it on her skin. If you adjust the color tolerance, you can see that it's gonna do that extract effect. So I'm just resetting that and then pressing the keyframe button from where they first meet and then going to the end of the clip and then bringing that tolerance all the way to 255 and then now it just extracts away. Okay, so some other effects that I have videos on already is the glow look that he used in his God Church music video and then I also have the smooth zoom transition video that I can link you to. One thing you can also use is my fake camera movement preset and you can make it look like an earthquake shake effect. So that could be cool too. So I'll just link those links in the description. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to break down Rice Gum's diss tracks and yeah, so give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more videos five days a week and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.